and the FBI was skeptical of Cooper's odds of survival, concluding that Cooper lacked crucial skydiving skills and experience. Uh, we originally thought Cooper was an experienced jumper, perhaps even a paratrooper, said Special Agent Larry Carr, right. uh, leader of the investigative team from 2006 until his dissolution in 2016. We concluded after a few years this simply was not true. No experienced parachutist would have jumped in the pitch black night in the rain with 172 miles winds in his face, wearing loafers and a trench coat. It was right. simply too risky. Right. Well, maybe that's how he figured it's the only time he can. Right. He was willing to take the risk. He also missed that his reserve parachute was only for training and had been sewn shut, something a skilled skydiver would have checked. He also failed to bring a request a helmet. He didn't bring one or request a helmet. That's true. Chose to jump with the older and technically uh, inferior of the two primary parachutes supplied to him and jumped into a probable 15 degrees wind, 10,000 feet in the air. That's cold. 